All right, so what is going on YouTube? Kagan Fishing here, and uh, I've got some interesting little setup changes, right? If you look back over here, I actually did mount my power pull micro to the ski, uh, the back of the cooler. I love it there. It's at the very back, it's out of the way, it's unobtrusive, but at the same time, I'm gonna have to reinforce the cooler down to the platform. Um, I literally just launched the ski the first time with it on it, and it just seems like it's just putting a lot of pressure on that cooler that I don't want. And I've heard of stories of guys coolers going even just down the road, flying off and all that good stuff. So I am gonna reinforce it, but like I said, this is the first time I took it out. So um, I've got my rods, got my net, got my life jacket I'm about to strap on. The other cool thing about having the power pole on this guy is that I'm able to just pull down and chill here for a second. Because without that, the wind is gonna be pushing you around, especially in really enclosed tight spaces. And honestly, like I don't I don't wanna risk the ski bumping into something when I'm just sitting there. Out in open water, doesn't matter, but when you get in confined spaces, this stuff's really important, and so I really, really already like the setup a whole bunch. And now, once I launched it, I can pull down, I'm in this protected area, I can put on my life jacket, get all my camera gear set up, because that's another thing, it's not like I'm launching it and just taking off. I've got some stuff I gotta go through, get set up, and get ready. So, uh, I'm really excited. I've also got you guys on a 360 degree camera, and so I'll be playing around with that today. Um, fishing wise we're gonna run out to East Bay I don't know if any fish are gonna be caught but this is mainly a have fun with the camera have fun with the power pole and just get out on the water it's the first day in a very long time the wind has laid under 20 uh, in weeks so I'm just taking this opportunity getting out here and take you guys along with me and let's just go fish all right so my PFD is on um, clipping in this guy uh, I've just I'm taking my time and really getting my stuff together just because I have a new camera I got the power pole I just want to be set, you know, so I think I'm ready. Let me go ahead and lift this guy up Remote style. Let's go Gone. It's been a little while since I've been on the ski honestly uh, the main reason is because I went and took that fishing trip down in Port Mansfield. If you guys haven't seen that yet, check it out. Fishing the Laguna Madre was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, so it feels good and cheese. This every when I spend a lot of time on this, I forget how much power this thing has for its size. It's just crazy. <laughs> I'm already just smiling ear to ear. Oh my goodness. Hope you guys enjoy the footage from the new camera. I'm now posted up at a spot that I've caught fish before. I've caught actually some some decent trout here before. And uh, I'm just gonna cast to this point. The winds died tremendously. Uh, on the way over here, it did not feel that way. It felt like the wind was really pumping. And I don't understand why. But, either way, uh, tide's dumping out right now, and so I'm just fishing this point. Yeah, pretty shallow water. I'm in, I'm in three foot, so shouldn't be a problem for the ski. And uh, hopefully, I can nab some some trout on this. Honestly.
There we go, fish on. There we go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's running right at me. Oh, did I lose it? Did I lose it? Nope, still on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice trout. In the in just the footwell. That's what one thing that is awesome about. Oh my gosh, this guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. Oh my gosh. So uh, one thing pretty awesome about the sea dew is uh, when you catch a nice trout, you can just boat flip it right into the footwell on one side. Is it gonna get slimy and nasty? Yeah. But hey, catch a nice trout like this, it's gonna go home with you. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down. Um, that was my first cast out over that way and immediate trout bite. It was running right at me. I was trying to reel up, keep up with it. <laughs> Too cool, right? That was seriously a really nice trout. And uh, it was my first cast out to this side of the reef. Which is kind of interesting. So you have like a little grass bed. Oh, there's so many bugs everywhere. It's like flies and biting flies or and flying ants. They're all over, all over the place. It's kind of grody, but uh, first cast that way and I hook up. Oh my gosh, that was a blow up on the shoreline. Holy moly, that was a big redfish or trout. Could have been a trout. Could have been a Mondo trout. So like, I'm gonna take the time to fan cast with this guy. Just send it out there. So it is absolutely so calm out here that I'm easily able to stand up on the back platform and just bomb cast. Um, that's why I came out here this evening. I knew there would be no wind. Well, I was hoping there'd be no wind. I knew the wind was gonna die. To what extent, not sure, but I did um, predict this uh, properly. So there's birds working all in front of me, the tide's moving out, and I'm just running out of daylight. I wish I could've got out here earlier, um, but I haven't fished East Bay in such a long time, like a very, very long time since I've fished this. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get the drone up. Uh, I'm gonna pause from fishing, even though I don't want to, but I wanna bring you guys content of this just beautiful, beautiful evening. Cause there's just nothing like being out on the water when it's glass calm like this. <laughs> So what sucks is uh, you guys can see the sun is pretty much gone and uh, the fish are, the redfish are blowing up on this shoreline. I tried to fly the drone, I had some technical difficulties so technology is not on my side as of this fishing trip but you know it's what a YouTuber or camera guy, whatever you want to call me, uh, puts in on top of trying to catch fish. It's a lot of extra work and man, it does. Uh, sometimes it just burns your trip where if I was able to just focus on fishing, I would have probably caught a couple more, maybe hooked up onto a red, who knows. But I did keep a, uh, a speckled trout, that one that I caught was really nice. Oh my gosh, and I forgot about these skeeter bugs. The wind is dead, it's been a long time since it's been dead. And not only are the biting flies getting me, the old skeeter bugs are out to play, so. I'm gonna take just a couple more casts and I've got a blast back to the ramp because I'm like 14 miles away. So I'd just like to say thank you guys for watching another episode of Kagan Fishing and I'll catch you next time.